Welcome back. In this session, we will be discussing cutting conditions for performing turning operation on a lathe. For example, if you are having a blank that has an original diameter of D subscript O, and we have to turn this blank to get a final diameter of D subscript F using a depth of cut D, then we are actually having the final diameter equal to original diameter minus two times depth of cut. So why we are multiplying by two? So because this is a circular word piece. For example, if the final diameter that we want to achieve is 1.75 and original diameter is let's say 2.00. So we have to use a depth of cut of 0.125 in order to get this final diameter of 1.75. Or in other words, the depth of cut will be equal to original diameter minus final diameter divided by two. So in this case, this will, this will be equal to 2.00 minus 1.75 uh, divided by two. So that will be equal to uh, 0.250 divided by two. So that will be equal to 0.125. An important uh, machining parameter in the case of turning is the feed. So feed is the linear travel of the cutting tool along the uh, length of the workpiece per revolution of the workpiece. So it is in, in terms of inches per revolution. So in this case, you can see it uh, here uh, diagrammatically that this is the linear travel of the cutting tool along the axis of the workpiece. A very important uh, process parameter that we discussed in the previous uh, session is the cutting speed. So this is the distance <clears throat> that the cutting tool moves on the periphery of the workpiece per minute. So it could be feet per minute or it could be uh, meters per minute. And this cutting speed actually, and that is uh, that can be found from the machinery handbook uh, in feet per minute or meter per minute can be converted into spindle RPM. That is something that we set on the machine. So we will go into details of these process parameters uh, for turning. So the cutting speed is the rate at which a point on the work circumference travels past the cutting tool. So how much distance does the cutting edge uh, travel on the, on the periphery of the uh, of the blank every minute. So it is expressed as feet per minute or meters per minute. The feet of a lathe may be defined as the distance the cutting tool travels along the length of the work for every revolution of the spindle. For example, if the lathe is set for a 0 0.015 inch feet, the cutting tool will travel along the length of the work 0 .05, 0 0.015 inch for every complete turn of the workpiece. And depth of cut, as we saw, is the depth of the chip taken by the cutting tool and is one half of the total amount removed from the workpiece in one cut. For example, the cutting speed for turning a four inch uh, diameter bar has been found to be 575 feet per minute or 175.3 meters per minute using one of the tables that we saw in the previous uh, session. Using both the inch and metric formulas, calculate the lathe spindle speed. So we have seen this formula. So RPM for the, for the spindle is 12V over pi D for inch system. So we are multiplying with 12 to convert uh, actually these inches, the diameter in inches into feet. So uh, we will be having RPM of 549. And same is uh, the formula for uh, the uh, metric units. We just multiply by 1000 to convert this diameter in millimeters into meters. So in both cases, actually we get the same RPM. And depending upon the machine settings, we can select a value close to this 549. 
The feed in turning is generally expressed in millimeters per revolution or inch per revolution. This feed can be converted to a linear travel rate in millimeter per minute or inches per minute by using the formula feed rate is equal to RPM into, into feed. So that is a revolution per minute multiplied by inches per revolution. So that is actually equal to inches per minute or millimeters per minute. So that is basically the uh, formula for, for a speed, per, but, but this is the speed for the cutter. So here uh, the F subscript R is the feed rate, distance the cutting tool moves every minute. F is the feed in meters per uh, millimeters per revolution or inches per revolution, and N is the rotational speed of the spindle. And we have seen this formula for, for depth of cut. So uh, the turning operation reduces the diameter of the work from its original diameter, D subscript, subscript O, to a final diameter of D subscript F. So uh, final die is equal to original die minus two times depth of cut, or depth of cut is the uh, difference of these two diameters divided by two. The time to machine from one end of a cylindrical work part to the other is given by uh, length of the cut divided by the feed rate. And we saw in the previous slides that feed rate is equal to feed into RPM. So that is basically the formula for, uh, for the speed. So speed in this case is feed rate. So that is equal to distance over time. So time will be equal to distance over speed. So, and speed again, in this case, is the feed rate. And length uh, L is the length of the uh, part that we are uh, cutting, or it can be called the length of cut. Note that this is the minimum time required for machining. It does not include approach and over travel. We will see what is meant by approach and over travel. Uh, in the following slide. A lathe using a sharp pointed tool bit is to take one cut of the two inch diameter of a 1010 soft steel shaft. The length of the shaft is 10 inches and cut is to be made over eight inches. The tool bit is made from high speed steel. Calculate the time to machine one cut using a feed of 0 0.012 inches per revolution. Assume a total over travel of three over eight inches. What we are given is that this original diameter is two inches. The total length is uh, 10, but the length over which the cut is to be made, uh, this one is eight inches. This feed is 0 0.012 inches per revolution and cutting speed is 90 feet per minute. So these values we might have obtained from uh, the tables for recommended feed and cutting speed. And the total approach and over travel is three over eight inches. So for example, if we have to start cutting the workpiece at this point from here, so cutter may be starting slightly before this starting point. And then we will be moving uh, the cutter back after the end of the cut. So that total distance is three over eight inches. So the recommended uh, cutting speed can be converted into RPM using the same formula that we have already seen. So 12V over pi D, V is the cutting speed in uh, feet, per, uh, feet per minute in this case, and this two inches is, is the original diameter. So the recommended RPM is 172. And again, uh, we can select the closest value on our machine if this exact value cannot be set. The time needed to machine one cut is uh, length of cut divided by feed rate. So length of cut plus total over travel divided by feed rate. Feed rate is equal to feed into RPM. So length of cut is uh, eight inches plus this total over travel is 0.375. Feed is given to be 0 0.012 multiplied by RPM is 172. So the minimum time actually required is about 4.1 minutes. Now, practically, if we had set RPM other than 172, so this time could vary. So for example, if we had set this RPM to be 160, then this time would have increased. 
Finally, we have volumetric rate of material removal that is equal to cutting speed into feed into depth of cut. So that will give us the material removal rate in inches cube per minute. For example, if the cutting condition and turning operations are cutting speed is equal to 300 feet per minute, feed is equal to 0 0.010 inches per evolution and depth of cut to be 0 0.100 inches, what will be the material removal rate? So as we saw previously that uh, material removal rate is equal to cutting speed into feed into depth of cut. So we can multiply these three to get the material removal rate in inches cube per minute. Uh, it is our important to take care of the unit. So this cutting speed is 300 feet per minute. So 300 into 12 will be equal to inches per minute into feet is 0 0.010 inches into depth of cut is also 0 0.100 inches. So everything is in inches. So we will be having a volumetric uh, material removal rate as 3.60 inches cube per minute. Thank you very much.